Well, I was in New Orleans, was at the Golden Goose. I grabbed the green light down, they had to turn me loose. I was just so tired, we couldn't sit down, so we danced all night. Solar system. Lights is good. The generator gonna come out here at nighttime? 250,000 of them is gonna shine down in all Fuel house, rock barn, generator, you open up sometime next week and a half. 25 cutouts of those, bunk beds, chains, handcuffs, talk to your balls and chains. I got the general walls out here, ten and a half foot tall. Uh, I like Christmas time. Christmas? Yeah. We got a hundred thousand dollars in Christmas when we go all the property out here. And then what I'm trying to do is buy out every house you can see as far as your eye can see. I'm gonna turn this into Elvis line from my sign. Take a rebuilding down the street down there and turn it into Heart Lake or Heart Attack Hotel. <clears throat> and uh, there's uh, balls and chains back here, nine console chambers, everything you think of. And just put out a t-shirt here, make all your wishes come true at Grace Lab, mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's amazing. <clears throat> Any questions you want to ask? <clears throat> Was Elvis ever here or not? Yeah, every house you're looking at, even every house you're looking at on the street here is all connected to Elvis Presley. Yeah. He used to appear here every night and it only cost two dollars to see him, fifty cents extra at night time, him and Charlie Feather the last room. Well, I got a bird what is the date today? The second? The second of October? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it's today is the second. Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen days from now, I'll be sixty five years old. All right. And when I saw I was fifty two years ago, ladies told me in front of my face. Calm down, you're getting too excited when I was singing. I've had actually twice, she reached over in front of my face and shook that lady and she dropped dead. They had to drag your body out of my feet here. Yeah, this could be a warden's office. Yeah. Then we'll take this and turn this into Blue Hawaii. Keep Gala here. Do you have a movie? That was favorite movie ever did in his life was a movie called King Creole. <coughs> yeah. In New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans. <coughs> Well, I was in New Orleans, was at the Golden Goose. I grabbed a green light down, they had to turn me loose. We was just so tired, we couldn't sit down, so we danced all night. Are you married? What? You married? Okay. Married, yes. Come come married? Yes. How many you lied when you said you loved me? And I had a cause to doubt to you. <laughs> I'd rather go on hearing your lies than to go on living without you. <clears throat> if your mother's not very bring her down here, I'll move her. <clears throat> we have to go there or where? Can we look at that? I want to go back here. You can pictures your eyelashes down the street and draw you in. You ever seen the movie Ghostbusters? Yeah. Have you seen that was Presley in the spirit world? How's he lately after he died? That's what's said on the 492 movies. What? Two minutes after he died, you're Elvis fan, do you explain this to me? There's electricity shooting out his life fixture, five foot tall. Here's gold figures flying around his general room. Here's white lights over his jumpsuit. That young kid's been here 77, 77 times, bring a religious group. There's the first flowers from his grave. There's a model of him that's locked in with his body. And there's me and my son, Elvis Aaron Presley, where our shadow went to the door of Baptist Hospital and I looked over the paramedic. He dropped dead at 42 years old. 14 of Elvis' friends were all found dead at 42 the same day. Five women put guns in their mouths, shot themselves. Some of the women took razor blades and they slit their wrists and they killed themselves. <clears throat> And okay, there's where I got the last footage of Elvis Presley alive above your head here. And if people could spend here 14 straight days from Tutico, Mississippi, Tupelo, and they said the film was worth seven and a half million dollars in cash. You, you ever heard of his bodyguards, Red West, Sonny West, and Dave Hebler now? Mm -hmm. That's who I keep the snake up here. He bought them houses, cars, dime rings, furniture, food, and they tried to blackmail all of us for 750000 all right, if you go to Grayson today and you touch that book, pick it up, pick it up, every time you pick it up, it's a $150 piece. Uh, you, your buddy that brought you here from uh, Belgium, yeah. he, he's pictured up here with 32,000. New one's got to go up here right now. 32,000. Two more rooms in an attic above your head here, full with dollars, and three trucks as big as a bus. In front of your house, that belongs to me for 52 years. <clears throat> 
or even doing the bathrooms down here taking care of your business in a flash or a flush. Flush. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <clears throat> Is this your first time in the state of Mississippi? Yes, yeah. it's first time in America. Mm -hmm. so. uh, well, I'm a U.S. male, and I was born in a Mississippi town on a Sunday morning. Now, Mississippi just happens to occupy a place in the southeastern portion of this here United States. Now, that's a matter of fact, buddy, and you know it well. That's why I just call myself the U.S. male. <laughs> here you go. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Rats to toys, TV guys, tribute magazine. 4,000 more toys, two worms in an attic, more spectacular than the Vatican, 185,000 square inches carpet. Then, like I said, I got 35,000 more records, I got 25,000 CDs, 10,000 signed materials. And let me show you this. Here's the guy and his wife just in here 14 days. They'll be back uh, Friday night. There he is, him and his wife, because they live down in Tupelo, Mississippi. And then and here's the people just offered me seven and a half million dollars cash for my son because I got the last footage of Elvis Presley live. Here, there's a beautiful house down the street, way right down here. I tried to buy it for my son for three hundred thousand dollars in cash. Did a beautiful castle. See it? Mm -hmm. All right, the guy put seven hundred fifty thousand dollars cash in it, and he can't understand with this how town here where my folks are born. Uh, you ever hear of Peter Sellers? Yes, Pink Panther? Yes. Well, right here. Uh, I always had 50 of those suits, Casey Grip, one on stage. Look at this. Did the house all the pink for 50 years of rock and roll. See ya? This, kind of, this place kind of outranks the whole town. Yes. There you go. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> did, you, uh, did you sign in here? No, not did, yet. Did, yeah. did you, did you sign in for the whole group, just whatever you want to. Yeah, we fill out our names. Yeah, yeah, just put, yeah, put that down and just gold you, whatever you want. <clears throat> Ik denk dat we voor de assist, voor de kistigals, wat moeten we doen? Wat komen ze zien? Net net de Frans. De Alfred Neger was toen in België. Als we Alfred Neger maar even bestuurden, dat zou de moeite zijn. Right change for the tour, it'd be uh, five dollars a piece. Yes, okay. Now I'm not sure dissatisfied. I'll pay you for coming here. <laughs> I'm not dissatisfied. Well, I'm satisfied. I'm used to be paid. I can say this is lots uh, cheaper than what Grayson's Church and all of Bible stands for a while. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You remind me of a, a, a guy that played piano for Elvis. You do.
You know, the best way to start your day every day is with a hot cup of coffee and a fresh Krispy Kreme donut. Since 1930s, Richmonders have enjoyed a large variety of freshly baked Krispy Kreme donuts, snacks, and other good stuff they have in their shop fresh every day. Ma'am, what do you think of Krispy it's Kreme? Elvis Presley. No, ma'am. ma'am. Oh no, ma'am. I can't believe no, ma'am. I just get that all the time. I just look like him. I, I work here at the donut shop. The colonel said I could come. I mean, I mean, the manager said I could come out here and ask you a few questions. Uh, so, uh, oh what do you think? No, ma'am. Elvis. Ma'am, I just wanted to ask you about the donuts. Uh, what do you think of Krispy Kreme donuts? Well, ma'am, <laughs> ma'am, I'm just. I no, it's it's very simple. We're doing a donut commercial I right like here. The donuts. Yeah, yeah, they're good. Uh, they are good. I like for, you more. No, ma'am, I tell you, I'm not Elvis. I'm not. I'm just. I'm just a humble donut worker working at a donut shop at 4910 West Broad Street in Richmond. Stop by your fresh. Krispy Kreme Donut Shop or at your favorite supermarket, pick them up at Stupa Supermarket and pick them up fresh. Ma'am, let go of my shirt, ma'am. And, and he gets you some fresh. Tell the manager to get you some fresh if he's out of them. Cause, uh, oh, my and, God, I can't believe this. Ma'am, I'm trying to tell you, I ain't Elvis. Krispy Kreme Donuts, 4910 West Broad Street, Richmond, Virginia.